They changed the menu. Nice. I didn't realize how tired I was of seeing that same exact menu over and over and over again. Please update shaders. My The whole thing is freaking out. I can't handle this much more. Oh yeah, now I can use that XP token shit just because, you know, I'm not 155. I'm not maxed out. That's cool. I'm happy that I could level up some more. Although with the old system, I would have been still leveling up, but yeah. See how stressed out I am? I woke up with a fucking pimple. It was not there when I went to sleep. I would have noticed it. I always do like a skincare thing before I go to bed. Don't make fun of me. Lex has changed my entire life when I started dating this girl. You have no fucking idea. I my eyebrows got better, my hair got better, everything got better. This girl saved me and ended up looking like a fucking caveman. Season one is finally here. Uh, last night I ended up finishing out the foul. It's now gold. Uh, we go over to the gunsmith over here, go down, and we got the gold right here. So uh, then we can preview it and all that shit too. So it's right there. Now I'm on the M4 and the M4 is actually almost done. Uh, I I've been saving uh, blueprints now the way that I have them set up. This is my class setup for what I was doing in uh, Ground War. Even in Shoot House, I was just running around with the suppressor on. With the ranger four grip and stuff stippled grip tape uh i really like the gi mini reflex i just i like that red dot corvus custom barrel and i'm actually almost done with this so this is the reason why i wanted to dump all my xp into all of these guns i just wanted to be able to blow through all the weapons try to get like two weapons a day so once i'm done with this i can go and finish out the m4 hop right over to another good weapon the famas with attachments and stuff anyway it's pretty decent welcome to battle pass battle pass how does it work season one battle pass comes with 100 tiers of new content including over 20 tiers that are free for everyone at any time during the season you can upgrade and gain access to all 100 tiers in the battle pass tiers are unlocked just by playing multiplayer or spec ops like you normally would how do i unlock the pass you already have access to the free tiers just by playing rewards will automatically be granted as you progress so basically you'd be able to earn enough cod points in this pass in order to get the next pass so technically speaking if you're an avid player it's free. I'm pretty sure it's a similar thing that Fortnite did. So I'm gonna spend my 3,000 COD points or whatever the fuck they gave me right there at the start of this game once we got it. And, uh, alright. Okay, so there's six different blueprints. Daijin Collateral Damage. Long Arm. Long Arm looks like the car. Sand Snake at tier 20. Siberian Tiger at 71. Stalker at 89. Tier 99 is the Corruptor. Tier 85 is Gilded. Hadir's Right Hand. Is this the Hadir sniper rifle from the campaign? Ooh! Yeah, I definitely want this sniper rifle. I, I don't know which, which one it is i don't know if it's an hdr or an ax50 i think it's an hdr i love the hdr so i might you know fuck around and throw some platinum on top of it as well there it is holy fuck Dude, look at this thing already unlocked my plague sword and stuff so okay no more uh sniper rifles then so we got hadir shit uh we got there's a car 98 variant that i haven't fucked around with okay so this is uh oh yeah so we had our full where's my level is it displaying in the lobby or something watch select oh shit i don't know which one is this one looks fucking weird it looks like he got it from a thrift shop blue silence and now we got black spike combat knife it basic it literally looks like a default oh maybe it's just battle pass oh <gasps> wait what oh Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm putting this nerd shit on. Yes. Okay, so this is what we worked for right here. Well, okay, so is it only displaying as a an emblem and it doesn't display next to my actual rank in the lobby? I think if this thing was popping in the lobby, ooh, that would be worth it. I fuck with this emblem. You guys did a great job on this. I like this. So much shit here. I, it's kind of overwhelming, gonna be honest. This is, this is, that guy's beard is tough. What is on the default Hadir's right hand? What, what, what's on it? A variable zoom scope, an FTAC champion, and mo money. I'm gonna see what I can do about custom customizing this thing. Uh I can't tell if it looks that much different from the other. God damn it. Okay, so then we got Crash 24-7. Okay, it's definitely noticeable. I fuck with that. It looks more aggressive somehow. Thank you, Hadir. I can't imagine. So wait, they removed Shoot House. Ooh. Eee, that's no good. All right, we got hard point on crash. Oh yeah, now I can't tell if anybody's good or not. Everybody's just 55. This guy is level two. Does anybody else have the same emblem I do? Oh, that guy does. I wonder how many people actually completed that challenge. So there's only one other person with that emblem in this lot. I think people are gonna put that emblem on trying to like display how good they actually are here since we can't really tell by ranks anymore. The Halo reaches out right now and watching some of these streams is embarrassing. And I ain't gonna say I'm the best player in the world, but holy. Oh yeah, I fuck with this. This looks nice. Uh, I should really work on my M4 and shit. Yeah, so they changed the map. This is what I'm talking about. So usually before, you would spawn over in this corner, whether you're like holding a flag or something like that, TDM or anything like that, anything like COD 4, and everybody would run down here and this whole area would be completely closed off and you would be forced to funnel through here and here. People would hit their clips left and right in that whole area, but now that you could see over there, they open up an entire side area for it. So you basically just don't get trapped there anymore. Who the fuck rang my doorbell? 
there's more than one building that are open now. This is open too. This wasn't open before. The guy still have on cold blooded because I'm done dealing with kill streaks. You guys can do it. Oh yeah, by the way, did they change the uh, the launcher challenges and stuff like that to make them a bit easier for uh, getting the ground streaks and shit like that? Since no one used those terrible ass things, that'll make the progression a bit easier. Although on this mode, it might be. Oh man, I played shoot house for all the challenges and some ground war here and there. I think people are only playing this map a little bit faster at the moment just because of hard point. Hard point is actually a good mode. <laughs> Told you you should learn how to move, pussy. Surprised he didn't add a door on the side of the building right here. I feel like on shoot house, I would have dropped at least 40, 50, something like that. But I mean, that was my first game. It's so weird to see that there's a different part of the map open right here. I mean, it played well. I mean, I didn't. I, one second, but, but what did they add today? They didn't drop all the content at once? Are the, the gunfight maps out? Is the new ground war map here? Like, what, what are we... What, what's the deal? We got clickbaited hard into thinking we were getting all of the maps instantly. True. I honestly, I thought we were all gonna get it all at once. I, I thought that's kind of like what they were building up to. Like, maybe the updates have been kind of like... They're saying that they updated, you know, once to twice a week. And what, that's great and all, but like, I genuinely thought we would end up getting all of... Most of, if not all of that content all on December 3rd. I, I, I thought it was... Okay. So can we not play the new ground war map? Because honestly, if I can't play shoot house and 6v6 is going to kind of be like the way that it has been usually. Okay, this is what we're doing, huh? This is what we're doing! I'm going to give myself a fucking nosebleed. I'm using my tactical sprint and my character wasn't sprinting. That's revenge. Go fuck yourself. Did that guy just transform? Or was that a second person that hopped up? The guy changed outfits before I killed... I mean, hey, uh, dear, I, I fuck with this. I, I mean, I know I removed most of the things that made it your gun, but I like the cool little design on this. It looks a little bit different. Pretty sure I'm still on 10 sensitivity trying to snipe like this, so it's a little weird, but I also better not have to sit there and do those DLC weapons for Damascus now, because everybody is going to end up having it. Well, mostly everyone, I guess. Zaborsk is terrible. Just remove her from the fucking game. Ah! Season one is here. Go and check it out. There's a bunch of new shit. I don't even know what's new and what's not. All I know is we're getting like fucking drip fed this content when we thought that we were gonna get it all on one day halo reaches out yeah definitely go and check this out i'm i'm gonna go chill